Yeah, uh, there's a brother who asked, uh, he said that uh, you, s you said something about turning your other chin. About what? Turning your other cheek. Turn other cheek? Other cheek, yeah. I didn't say that. Okay. I've yeah. never said that. Okay, uh, anyway, he said... Oh, 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 no, no, yeah. I said the Prophet, Alayhisselam, told us about a Prophet that was beaten up by his people. He wiped the, the blood from his face. Allahumma, la ya'lamun. Allah, forgive my people, for they do not know. That's what I said. Okay, and his question... That's what the Prophet said. Okay, so, okay. So, so. and his question is... Uh, if uh, some disbelievers harms you, then uh, what should your response if be? If what? Is if disbelievers harms you. Disbelievers harm you. Yeah. Then what should your response be? I think be? it's interesting to note, you see, brothers and sisters, you have to understand where you are in the climate, for instance. The first 13 years in Mecca, the Meccan period, no verses about jihad fighting back. But then Allah revealed after the migration, Fight in the way of Allah those who fight against you and do not go um, extreme. Allah loves not those who go extreme. So the general principle in the first 13 years is patience. I say the same thing here. The same thing here. In, in these countries, uh, let us be patient and case by case uh, events, we study each one case by case. I'm not going to let no one beat me up. I'm not, I'm not a pacifist like that. But in general, we should be very patient. It's interesting. And do you know that um, in Chicago, an African American non Muslim woman, she's a professor in a college, she put on hijab. And the reason she put on hijab for solidarity with Muslim women. Her students put on hijab. All over America, non-Muslim women are put on hijab for solidarity with Muslim women. And I'm saying to you, we have to study history, study minorities who struggled in the past, how they got, where they got, and make some strategic, rather than some emotional decision. Many of the decisions that we make are very emotional. Uh, and I'm saying that my part of my <laughs> experience is don't be so quick to respond with violence. It's not going to get your objective, your, objective, your vision. It won't, get, it won't get that for you.